Are we doing a rum punch? Yeah. Rum punch, 9 a.m. Rum punch it is. Raise it, man. <laughs> there we go. This is what you call team. Ah, so you're doing it the wrong way around. <laughs> <It's time. laughs> and good morning from another beautiful day here in St. Lucia. As you can see, we're by the harbour, and that is because we are joining a catamaran tour around the southwest part of St. Lucia. We're gonna be doing Soufrié, some of the sulfur springs, some waterfalls and then finishing off with some really, really exciting snorkeling. So very, very excited for this. Let's head on the boat. Are we doing a rum punch? Yeah, rum punch, 9 a.m. Rum punch it is. That's Barbados, and that's Dominican, and that's Grenada. Feeling really lucky right now. So we are driving past some of the fishing villages, Ancelare and Canaries, whilst we are making our way to our first stop. So we're making our way over to the first stop and we've got an incredible view over the pitons. We've got gross piton and petty piton. And we're here at our first stop, which is Soufrié, which was the original capital here in St. Lucia. Here we've got some shuttle buses waiting for us before we head over to the waterfall and then to the mud baths or otherwise known as the Sulphur Springs. You can even raise it too. Raise it, man. There we go. Yeah, man. So we're rolling with Garvin bus number three. So this was the first capital in St. Lucia ever under the French. That was in 1746, my friend. Smells like omelette, smells like rotten egg but very good for sinusitis. Good for arthritis, liver spots, sunburn. Trust me, if you got joint pain, soak in that water. What's the first thing you notice then? The smell. Do you ready to have every illness ever resolved? <laughs> I'm ready, yeah, to look 10 years younger, I'll be honest. And here we are, Sulphur Springs. Now this is included in the tour with Sea Spray Cruises, which is great, because otherwise it would cost 10 US dollars to enter. Now when you do come, you'll probably find that it is very, very busy because this is one of the biggest tourist hotspots on the island. Is it hot? Very hot. Is it bad? Does it smell? Hot, man. It's hot? Yeah, really hot. Wow, that is like worse than bath water. Isn't that bloody hell? All right, so we bailed on mud bath number one because it was way too hot, it's like bath water. Also make sure if you do come here, bring a pair of swim shorts that you do not mind getting ruined because otherwise you're gonna be like us wearing our boxes. Again, as every Brit said ever, it's nice once you're in. It's nice once you're in. It feels scalding hot, especially if you've not, if you have burnt a little bit. But once you're in, it is so, so relaxing, so nice. I think it's time to start rubbing this stuff on. The white one goes on first. Ah, so you're doing it the wrong way around. Alright, so first step is putting this on. Apparently this is good for um, your skin. To start with the grey one. The exfoliant. I'm already done, I'm gonna get out. <laughs> I've already done it. Grey <laughs> man first, all over. Again? Yeah. See, this is how it's done, you know? This is teamwork. This is what you call teamwork. Make the dream work, yeah? Exactly. Okay, then. Got it? So good. Oh my. <laughs> no, no. Apparently, the longer that you keep it on, the better it is for your skin. So I'm trying to delay it as long as possible, because apparently, there's more benefit. And that was the Sulphur Springs, absolutely amazing, the exfoliation. My skin feels better already. But now we're moving on to the waterfall. So back on the shuttle bus, let's go. And for lunch, we've come to Mourne Corbaril Estate. It is just a buffet lunch that we've come to get. It's a Creole lunch, so it is very, very authentic. Really like St. Lucian food. I've realized the chicken, the spices that they use here, the lentils, so good. We've come to Torrey Waterfall. Less glamorous side of the waterfall. You have got a queue.
That was amazing. The water was freezing cold. That is one way to wake up. Enjoyable, scenic, fun, happy, sad. This is the spice rum. The spice rum. Yeah, they also call it the local Viagra. That's ah, some grenadine in there, right? you need yeah, this. Man. That's some grenadine in there. No, it's good for everything. You see, if you you come in with a cold or flu, best thing to have. This Trust guy me, is an I can show Look you a bottle. Those. Are you gonna drink it? Oh, he's come. not gonna drink it. <laughs> Why isn't he drinking? He's going on about it. <laughs> Waba de cinnamon, calca, bay leaf, man. <laughs> drink responsibly. <laughs> And that is it for Soufrié. And we are here at Anz Cochon Bay, which is known as the Wild Pig Beach. But fun fact, there's no more wild pigs here because I think they've all been eaten, I'm not sure. But this is the place to go snorkeling. We're going to be spending 40 minutes here. Snorkel's on, of course. And there we go. I was a little bit scared of some of the fish that um, came out from under the rocks. They were oversized. I saw one chewing at some reed as well. But aside from the scary fish, it's a really enjoyable, tranquil experience. Um, something definitely worth trying when you're in the Caribbean in general, but this is very But oh, what was your tip on the way here? Quite easy to get over excited when you board the cruise. There's a lot of free alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> There's a real party atmosphere. But what you've got to take into account is that you're here for about eight hours. Big day ahead and of you. And we're seeing a few faltery legs starting to come out. Yeah, a few crashing. people are complaining about headaches. I'm feeling fresh. <laughs> and free run punches down. There you guys have it. That was Sea Spray Cruises. That was unbelievable. Do you have the yeah. I'm doing it. This is what Sea Spray no, Cruises does it. to you. Such a sick day, but it is time for us to head back to the Calabash Cove. And after an absolutely incredible tour with Sea Spray, we've come back to Calabash to just chill by the beach. We've just had a pina colada and a beer by the pool. It's been absolutely amazing to just relax here. And we're just gonna enjoy the sunset here on the water with a pina colada. But guys, if you do wanna book that tour with Sea Spray, make sure you use the link in my video description. It was amazing, I can highly recommend it. Just make sure you pace yourselves and you have a plan for when the tour finishes. And this is our plan for the evening. Just chill in at the Calabash Cove. And if you guys are wondering what conch is, which is that little gooey thing that I ate the other night at Duke's Bar on Fish Friday. It is essentially the meaty <laughs> little clam thing, shellfish, that lives in there. <laughs> Whenever the fisherman blows into the conch, that basically means that he has caught a fresh catch. It's time for... It's time for... <laughs> And for dinner, we've come back to the restaurant at the Calabash Cove. Food, I've ordered the shrimp ravioli. Nick's got some spring rolls and it's just amazing up here. Loving the vibe. But I guess that's also where I'm gonna end today's video. So again, if you enjoyed it, hit that like button and also hit the subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you get notified every time a new video is posted. And check out this playlist right here for all the videos from the St. Lucia series. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.